So the official reveal is done. You guys saw the official stay at Arona. You hear the rest of the press event going crazy. We're actually heading backstage now. You're going to get a first-hand look behind the scenes. We have our very own Seat Arona waiting for us just behind this door. So come with me. I'll give you a closer look. Come on in. All right. Welcome back. Thanks so much for tuning in. My name is Scott. We're here to give you a first-hand look up close and personal with the Seat Arona. Sitting with me right to my right here, we're going to be taking live questions from the live stream. So if you have any questions about the car that you want to ask, now's your chance. We're going to be answering them live. So first up, looks like we have Hanis from Ireland. Hanis asks, what's the new Arona all about? Well, Hanis, I'm glad you asked. This is Seat's first foray into the compact crossover SUV model, meaning it's a bit larger than your urban sedan, right? It's, it sits a little bit higher, more visibility. It kind of offers that uh, perfect crossover between the urban transport vehicle and that car. You can just jet away for the weekend to the mountains. So uh, it's also, you know, combines, it's fully customizable and combines all those aspects of both the urban transport and that uh, crossover SUV. Uh, next up, we have Antoine from Switzerland. Hi, Antoine. How you doing? Uh, what are the new colors on the Arona? Well, Antoine, we're actually featuring the Arona in 10 different colors. This is the white candy or candy white shell color. Uh, but what makes the Seat Arona unique is actually the customizable roof. So what you have here is three different colors that you can actually choose on your model of the Arona. Uh, right here we have the, uh, the Pyrenees Gray. You can also choose Midnight Black or that Eclipse Sunset Orange, which you saw the main color out there for. But with the 10 different colors, the three different roof styles, and the customizable interiors, you're actually looking at about 68 different color combinations to make your Arona fully, fully unique. Okay, next up, Pamela from Spain. Hi, Pamela, thanks for joining us. Pamela asks, what are the lights like on the new Arona? Well, Pamela, let's take a look at the eyes here. So up front, we have full LED headlights, also full LED brake lights and backlights as well. So why is that important? Well, full LED basically is a lot more powerful and uses a lot less energy than its halogen counterparts. So with this technology, it's instant on, okay? It's going to react much, much faster and illuminate much more of the road, especially when you're off, you know, off-roading or in the mountains. Uh, Alessandro from Italy. Hi, Alessandro. Thanks for joining us. So what's the technology like on the new Arona? Alessandro, I'm glad you asked. Um, this being Seat, always pushing the envelope with the latest and greatest technology. The Seat Arona is no joke, okay? So it actually builds on its predecessors and it brings in keyless entry technology so your car actually recognizes you as long as you have the fob. You don't need the keys to start it. Then an 8-inch touchscreen. Let's go ahead and, and pop the door here and see if we can take a look at the, uh, the interior dash here. Come on inside with me. So Alessandro, I hope you're watching. We have the, I'm going to open the pen camera here. You can take a look at the dashboard. We have an 8-inch customizable LED screen, kind of featuring anything you, you may want to put in here. It instantly links with your iOS or Android device, and it has a mirror technology, so you could actually have the exact same screen featured here for quick calls, contacts, access to your music, Spotify, anything you need, you have full link up capability. Also, just panning down here a little bit under the dash, you can't really see, it's a little dark, but where my hand is, is a wireless charging station. So you slide your smartphone right in there and you're instantly gonna recharge on the go. I'll give you guys a quick panorama of the dash. You can get a better look here. And lastly, we feature a GSM amplifier. What that means is any calls or connectivity is going to be amplified right inside your car. So you're always online. You're always connected. You can be reached anywhere you go. So putting the pen camera down, coming back out of the car. Next up, we have Michael from Germany. Hi, Michael. Uh, what's the boot like? Well, Michael, usually I want you to buy me dinner before you ask about my trunk. But come on, I'll show you anyway. Let's see here. Let's pop the trunk. We have 400 cubic liters of space back here, instantly ready for the mountains. Fold the seat back, throw your skis, snowboard, surfboard, any sort of camping gear. You're instantly ready to be a weekend warrior in the sky. If you got kids, it's a perfect family mobile too. Easy to get around the city, but the trunk obviously holds anything you know for kids, cribs, carriages, strollers, whatever it is, you name it. We have more than enough room in the back, and the double boot floor offers even more durability and space. Okay. Violet from Belgium. Hi, Violet. Uh, tell us about the new engine on the Arona. Well, Violet, 
the new engines get, when this launches at the end of the year, the engine's first going to come in petrol, and you're going to have your choice between a manual and automatic transmission at 115 horsepower. But it has a TSI technology built into the engine, meaning it's turbocharged, straight injection model. So it's going to give you actually more torque at a lower RPM, which basically means more power with less petrol. So that's launching at the end of the year in the petrol model. We're also going to have a diesel version at 115 uh, horsepower as well by the end of this year. And coming in 2019, we'll actually have the GN, uh, CNG model, the compressed natural gas, uh, will become with 90 horsepower in the manual transmission in 2019. Okay, up next, Andre from Portugal. Hey, Andre. Uh, tell us about the trim uh, on the new Arona. Well, the trim's come in actually four different styles. So right now what you see here is the excellence model. But we actually start with the, the reference, the style, the FR, which is the Formula Racer, the Sport Edition, and the Excellence. And all of them come fully customizable in exactly how you want it. Obviously, if you move up the list to the FR and the Excellence models, you're going to have more, let's say, more premium options to choose from. Uh, one of the things I want to point out here is actually the wheels. We have standard on all of them is a 16-inch alloy wheel, but upgradable to 18-inch al full alloy wheels. If you want to take a look here, this is actually customized to the full 18-inch uh, alloy, alloy uh, wheel. Okay, next up, Maxime. Hi, Maxime from the Netherlands. Um, what's the interior like? So we actually took a look uh, really quick at the dash, but we didn't really take a look at the seats. So if I kind of pop the driver's side door again, you're going to see, you're going to see the full, um, what we call the uh, Alcantara seats. This is actually becoming a, a popular trend in Seat models. Basically, really easy. Easy, light, durable, sporty, sporty material that keeps cool in the summer and warm in the winter. Very easy to clean. We're seeing this as a standard on all of the, uh, the Seat Aronas. And uh, you also have the leather-like look and feel internally with the white stitching. You can see with the Sport Edition or the Excel Excellence Edition. And uh, everything here is basically customizable. So you can make your Seat Arona your own through all your customizable features. Uh, you do that actually through the website before you buy it. Okay, next up. Neria from Spain. Neria asks, what are the differences between the Ibiza and the Arona? Well, Neria, I'm glad you asked. From a technology standpoint, the Arona takes it a step further than the Ibiza. With all the technology that's built into the Ibiza, the Arona has it as well, but it also has a couple of things that are brand new. One of them is blind spot detection. So with all the sensors going on, on your side view mirrors and in the back, the sensors and the cameras will make sure you're never caught off guard by some moto or a scooter or a pedestrian or a cyclist or another car creeping into your blind spot. It also has parking assistance, meaning that with minimal interaction from from the driver, you will actually be able to parallel park your car with that parking assistance. And lastly, we have a, weir a rear traffic alert. The sensors and the cameras in the back will actually alert you when you're in reverse or if someone's creeping up too close to hide, and it shows up in the camera right on that 8-inch uh, LED screen in the dash. Okay, Evelyn from Switzerland. Hi, Evelyn. Uh, she asks, where is the Arona being built? Well, we're very, very proud the Arona is actually built right here in Barcelona, and you know, it's where the concept was first developed, where the team designed it, developed it, and now right here, it's coming off the production line here in Catalonia. We're very, very proud that every single Arona shipped will be shipped from right here in Barcelona. Okay, next we have David from France. David wants to know how much will it cost? Well, that's the magic question, isn't it, David? Well, David, we can't give away all our secrets on the launch date, but what have you come to trust from Seat so far, right? You know Seat for technology, for design, for performance and quality, right? And those things always come in accessibility price points. So you won't be disappointed here. The Arona is fully customizable and you will be very, very pleased when it drops at the end of the year. Okay, Jennifer from the UK wants to know, will there be a hybrid or electric version? Well, Jennifer, the Seat's already made their announcement um, that in 2019 they will, be, they will be launching their first electric vehicle. So we're gonna be waiting for that to come and which models to appear for the electric version We'll, you know, we'll yet to see. But at the end of this year, we will have the petrol model, which is very, very efficient on petrol, and uh, the diesel model as well. Uh, hopefully in 2019, you will see in just 18 short months, Seat's first electric car. Okay, next up we have Stan from Austria. Stan asks, will there be a Cupra version? Well, Stan, think of the Cupra as like the remix edition, okay? We're still, we're still launching the original. So right now, as far as I know, there is no Cupra on, but... You know, you never know what comes down the pipe. Right now, we are very, very excited about the uh, Seat Arona, the original. Um, okay, moving to Poland. Thomas, uh, thanks for joining us. Thomas asks, is there a reason the Arona looks like the Ateca? 
Well, uh, Thomas, thanks for asking. The Arona is like the Ateca's little brother, okay? It's that compact, mid-sized SUV that has that crossover feel. So it's a little bit smaller, but still has all the advantages of that SUV. So it sits a bit higher, you have full visi visibility from your higher up vantage point, and it uh, instantly crosses over to that, that mountain, you know, trekking back road, uh, backcountry SUV. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, next up, Thomas from France. Hi, Thomas. Thomas asks, does the Arona have a new four drive profile? Yes, it does. We're very, very happy to announce that it does have the four drive profile. So you have the option when you're driving to configure your ride for normal, sport, eco, and for individual. So you can actually set this to how you want to ride. But basically what this means is the four drive potential brings it up and down based on the performance that you need. So obviously if you're off-roading or if you're, you know, in the mountains, you're going to want to be in the sport mode, which is going to offer you all the horsepower, but you know, the higher petrol usage that you're going to get when you, when you need it. However, if you're driving around the city or the highway, you might just want to switch to economy or customize your own settings. So you're getting the most value for your petrol. Okay. Moving on to Leticia from Spain. Leticia, uh, is the Arona similar to the Leon? Well, Leticia, it's a Seat, so it's definitely kind of like primos, cousins, right? It has that same, has that same charisma, but it's a completely different animal, right? The the Arona has its own unique charismatic design. The lines are very, very streamlined. It's a very, very new look for uh, for that crossover SUV. But of course, there's going to be that that uh, soul that the Seat always has. Okay, uh, for now, I want to thank you um, for joining us, the, uh, the live stream. We've actually run out of time, but keep your questions coming. Our team is on social media. We're answering all your questions. I want to thank you so much for joining us for the official launch of the Sayout Arona, and we'll see you on the road.